on the radio. Number 27, Mr Speaker. <laughs> Uh, Mr Speaker, the rules largely date back to the regulations which govern the admission of cameras to this chamber. Uh, the member may only use material featuring themselves or a reply from a minister to their question and contributions to the debate on an issue raised by the member. The clip should display the portcullis logo. The member should acknowledge copyright and ensure that the material is not downloadable. Members may use recordings of proceedings on their own parliamentary website but not on any third-party hosting website. Swinson. Parliament should be embracing new technology as a way to reconnect with the public. So isn't it about time we ditch the ridiculous ban on parliamentary clips being shown on YouTube? Yeah. Sites like YouTube are popular and accessible, so if there is a copyright issue, will the House authorities review the current contracts and bring Parliament into the 21st century? Yeah. And copyright is only... Uh, part of the uh, point that I'm making here, obviously the costs of the pictures that are uh, recorded in here is also part of the contract, but the other issue has to do with the manipulation of pictures um, that are taken from this chamber, and this comes back to the issue of the rules that govern the admission of cameras into the chamber. At the moment, the rule is that these clips can be streamed to be viewed in real time, but not downloaded in such a way as they can be uh, manipulated at a later point. 